My name is Dr. Graham Souch and I manage the electron microscopy facility here in the College of Life and Natural Sciences at the University of Derby. We have here a TESCAN3 uh, scanning electron microscope and this is used to magnify specimens from a low magnification up to a very high magnification using a depth of field that enables us to see the whole sample with high resolution. Coupled to that, we can zoom in on special features and look to see whether there's any differences structurally, but also from a compositional point of view as well. If we're looking at something like a whole insect, then we can magnify to a part of that insect. We can then use that to investigate comparisons between different species and how they correspond. One of the main benefits of this machine here at the University of Derby is that this is accessible to all. So from undergraduate level, through to researchers, through to commercial usage, anybody can come and use this and be trained if necessary. We train those students, those academics, those staff to use this machine so they can use it independently to investigate their own samples. From a commercial point of view as well, often they want somebody who's an expert to use this machine, but equally they could be trained to use this machine themselves and then come at their own time. Here at the University of Derby, we're able to accommodate any type of client from a small business to a large company where they've got an overflow of samples that they need to look at on a short and long-term basis and we can prioritise their booking so that that work is carried out quicker than perhaps other places can. From a scientist's point of view and personally from my own point of view, this is a, an incredible piece of kit. It's an incredible piece of science and it is pure science at its most advanced. It is something whereby you are investigating something that you have previously not seen. Now whether that's from a commercial point of view or whether it's from a research point of view or from a student point of view, each and every sample is different and what you find out leads to further questions and that is what science is.